Hi, this is Charlie Calvert. Let's take a moment to start talking about EC2 and what we would do uh, in order to build a virtual Linux box running in the cloud. All right, the first step would be to go to uh, the AWS console on Amazon. Then you come over here to My Account and you choose AWS Management Console. You want to make sure you're signed in <coughs> to your account. And to get signed in, of course, you need to remember that there is a free one-year uh, option for you if you're new to AWS. So you want to take that. Otherwise, just sign up for it using your Amazon uh, already existing Amazon account that you would use to shop on Amazon.com. OK, this is. So now let's go to EC2. And now we're looking at the console for EC2. You can see, actually, at this time, I happen to have one instance running. So it's actually available to us at this time. But I'm going to start uh, a, another instance here just because um, you might want to see how that works in principle. So let's go ahead and we're going to click the Launch Instance here. And what we're going to do is create a Linux box running inside a virtual machine on the Amazon Web Services cloud. So we're going to give my instance a name and this is the video instance since we're building this instance for the video. And now let's create a new key pair because you'll want to see how that works and I'll call it video instance 001. Okay, so it's a name. And now I'll go ahead and download that key pair. Let's get that done right now. So it says um, downloading. And then here you can see now it's showing up down here, something that can be downloaded. And I would say show in folder just so I can find it. And I'm going to actually cut it from there and move it to a well-known um, place on my hard drive. And the reason that I'm doing this, the reason I'm bothering to take up your time showing you moving it to a well-known place on the hard drive, is because you don't want to lose this key. So the act of saving it to some place where you'll be able to find it again later is important. Okay, so we did that. Now, we want to choose what kind of virtual machine we want to run. And in this case, we want to have the Ubuntu server 12.04. That just happens to be the most recent version. And I'm going to get the 32-bit version because I want to pick a free tier. And the 32-bit one is for the free tier, or at any rate, the least expensive tier if you're paying for it the way I am. I pay, I don't know, whatever it is, $10, $12 a month or something to run an instance up there in the cloud all the time. If I ran it less, like a couple hours a day, then it would be much less. OK, so don't quote me on those prices. Those are just general numbers. So now I've given it a name. I've downloaded my key pair. I've chosen the Ubuntu server, and I choose Continue here. And now it gives me a chance to review everything. And I'm um, fairly happy with what I've done. So what I'm going to just do is I'm going to choose Launch. OK, and that's good. So now it's being built. And if I come over here to look at my instances, I can see that it's over here being built. Now, one thing you can do in the meantime, pretty much when you want to navigate around up here, their, their console in the cloud, you can usually use, you know, either go back to the main screen of the dashboard or the main screen. It's like ice cream. OK, the main screen on the dashboard. And then you can choose other options. We can create an elastic IP if we wanted to or associate an IP with it. Why don't we go ahead just for the video here and let's allocate a new address for this. Are you sure you want to allocate a new IP address? And I say yes, I want to do it. I want to use EC2. So go ahead and allocate it. So now we've created this new address. And now associate the address with something with a saved instance. And I'm going to say associate it with my video instance. And yes, associate. So now I've associated this IP address with my um, video instance. Um, having an elastic <coughs> IP can help you keep track. Sometimes the names of their instances will change, but the name of the IP address won't change, and it's always going to be associated with, the, um, with your instance. So the elastic IP is optional, but I think it's a good choice.
So at this stage, we've done really everything we need to do in the cloud. We've gone ahead and created our instance, and we're really just waiting for this one to go from um, to get into its running status. And I, I literally, I have not put the video on pause or anything. It appears to actually be running now. It, it, it comes up very, very fast, these instances. But we're not quite yet ready to use it. Um, one of the things we might want to do is to make sure that we have the rights to access this thing. And you can see I've chosen the video instance and I look at the rules for the security group and right now you can see that Quick Launch 1 has opened up port 22 which will allow me to use SSH to open up a shell inside of the instance so that I can access it from my Windows machine. But I would probably want to also in Quick Launch 1 also have port 80 open so that I could do some uh, web development that way. So let's go over here. Notice again I come over to here to f navigate and I'll come over here and I'll say I want to look at my security groups and um, so I choose my security groups and I think it was Quick Launch 1 was the one we were looking at and I'll choose inbound here and it's got just rule 22 for SSH so I'll come over here and let's open up port 80 the HTTT port over here, add it to it. So now we've got both port 22 and port 80, and then let's apply the rule changes. So now we've done that. So now just to be pedantic and drive home the point, we'll come back over here, we'll say let's look at the rules, and you can see that both 22 and 80 are done. So now let's go over here and let's uh, convert that PEM key into a key that PuTTY can use. PuTTY is going to be our SSH client so that we can uh, use SSH to speak to our um, server from our Windows machine with a nice GUI interface. So I go to PuTTY and there's in PuTTY there's a tool called PuTTY Gen. So I'm going to launch that and then I'm going to choose the conversions menu and I'm going to choose import key and I'm going to go out and I'm going to look for this key we just downloaded video instance PEM and I'll click OK so now it's converted it to the type of key that PuTTY wants and now I can just save that private key by clicking here and it says you sure you want to save this private key without a password to protect it and let's just be good about this and um, actually give it a password. Okay, so now we'll, you don't have to put a password on it, but it's really probably better. And we had called this thing initially video instance 001PEM, and we're going to change it to 0PPK, which is the extension for the PuTTY private key. So now we've gone ahead and we've saved that, and we've saved the private key so we're all done with that part of the process now we want to run another application that's also part of putty that's called pageant and we run pageant you click it and you run it and it ends up over here in your taskbar tray and you can go view keys and let's add a key here and I'm going to add my video instance PPK open and it prompts me for that password and so I'll go ahead and do that and now you can see that I've actually loaded this guy in here <clears throat> so now we've got that running so now the only thing we need to do is just get putty itself going so I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to load putty and I'm going to take my IP address, the IP address that is my elastic IP address. So I need to find my elastic IP address, and you remember where those are. We always come over here to this menu over here, and I'll click here. And after a little while, the console, AWS console, will deign to respond. And um, 
here it is and here's our new IP address that was created for us so I'll block copy it then I'll come back over here to putty I'll paste it in I'll say we want to talk over port 22 which is our SSA port I'm going to give it a name and I'll call this the EC2 video instance and then I'll save my work I'll come down here to connection data and I'll specify my username which is Ubuntu and I'll go ahead again and go back to the main page and save once more and then I'll come even down here and even though I don't really need to do this <clears throat> overkill is is great because it's gives you that feeling of ultimate security and let's again just sort of redundantly connect the video instance PPK with this particular guy here okay and now this the first time we connect it says the server's host key is not cached in the registry and this is telling us it's the first time you've connected to this host to this physical machine do you trust it and we do trust it so we click OK and now you can see we're in authenticating this public key that we chose and you can see that we're in now so we are connected to the server and all is working as we pose I actually made one mistake that I've made so many times that I, I can't believe I did it again but why don't I redo that because you'll make this it's likely you'll make the same mistake <clears throat> here's my video instance I've loaded it in and I saved the Ubuntu thing but when I went down here to do the auth and I imported the video key I, I got obsessed and I clicked the button open button here and you should actually scroll back up to session and save your work so all your changes are saved and then I'll exit back out of the SSH um, session and once again I'll, I'll uh, choose our instance I'll load it and choose open and as you can see we're able to connect right away now just to emphasize our point we are now at the um, we are now at the command prompt of our Linux instance running in the cloud okay this has all been pretty much in real time I wasn't doing many cuts or anything so it's taken me a little over 10 minutes 12 minutes to set this up and most of the time I was just talking and explaining it probably could be done in more like five to seven minutes <clears throat> if you were just moving right along okay that's all I wanted to say thank you very much for watching this we'll have other videos on the subject of doing this There's other videos of working about Linux right now you're you're pretty much just working with Linux as if it were any place else in the world using an SSH connection thank you names Charlie Calvert I work for Bellevue College this is for my students in the classes there and for anybody else who's interested in this and if you want to find out more go to elvenware.com thank you now bye